Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back into the $10 million cattle ranch on Western Wilds. And uh, I know we're a $10 million ranch, but I'm still using the old case, the 1030. It's my uh, my utility tracker for, really, this is its only job, to be perfectly honest, guys. This is the only job, is dragging headers around. Works fine. Totally fine. So today, well, we're going to be pushing, well, we're moving away from our silage. And we're going to be moving into, well, pushing cattle. Like I said, we're trying to make $10 million now on milk is the new plan. But I still got to harvest some stuff. We got to diversify. You guys get it. And um, let's just get all this disconnected. Perfect. Now, like I said, $10 million from our cattle. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. We, I mean, the silage is making us bank. But we're moving away from that because we want to try new things. And, well, that's going to be today. That's going to be the start of it. And, well, like I said, we got to diversify stuff. So we got we got our soybean field here. This is our first harvest, actually, away from, from silage. This is the first chance I've had to get into a normal harvest. And today we're, we're doing that just with, well, soybeans. So, yeah, we do have a few tasks to do today. The beans are number one on my list. Let's just get this connected. And in we go. So, like I said, soybeans number one. I need to find some more ways to make things simpler. I need to um, make the farm run a little bit quicker in some aspects. Don't get me wrong, things are going pretty smooth, but we're still trying to find more efficiencies on this cattle ranch. And it's going to take a little bit of time, I think, just to test some stuff out. And you guys know what's coming, right? You guys saw the thumb. I know you guys know what's coming. And let's get through these beans. We've got quite a few, actually. Yield is really good. We've been working on our environmental stuff to make sure that we get great yield off these no weeds. Terrain's looking good. So I'm more, I'm impressed. We've already got 25,000 liters of uh, beans in this in this uh, combine. Things are going really good. You can see we haven't gotten into this field very much. That's actually a really good yield. Unfortunately, beans don't pay out as much as I would like. Yeah, it is what it is. So getting those beans in there, we'll take this back later on. We'll probably get this pretty much full. I bet you we've got about 100,000 liters on this small field here, guys. Look at that. Perfect. Get through this. We'll be done in, uh, it'll probably take us half hour or so to get through this field. It's not the biggest field. I want to expand this stuff, but we didn't have the money. We spent our 10 million bucks building our farm. We didn't get a lot of farmlands. I kind of regret that, but at the same time, I'm not going to need them. We're focusing on cattle, remember. We're doing milk. Pretty much only. We'll probably sell some cows as well as uh, we get new ones. But yeah, milk is a big thing, right? All right, coming through, finished off the harvest on that bean field. I think 79,000 is what we ended up with. Not bad, not a bad harvest. I'm going to drop this all off here with the old case. Look at that, case with case. That's a great setup right here. Drop this off. We'll do some maintenance on this a little later on. Just going to drop it for now. We're not going to worry about it. It's early in the morning. I want to get through absolutely everything today as fast as we can. And you know what? We're going to go back. I'm going to take care of this field. I'm going to make sure this field's prepped with some lime. Get her done for the day. And then come come the spring when we're ready to replant with some more beans out here, this field will be pretty much ready to go. No, like it's, it should be fast, right? Yeah, exactly. Should be quick. Just a couple more passes here. You can see, uh, look at like we're, we're not even dropping that much lime. I'm going to be able to finish this whole field, I bet, with one load of lime. So what, 18,000 liters I think we hold in the Bredal. So not a problem. We're going to get this done today very quickly. All our lines going to be dropped with one load. We're going to have to go back to the farm. And like I said, that is, that's one of the nice things about this. Now, I do need to find better ways to fertilize. I have, we're, we're taking rid of weeds. We've got the spot and spray, so we're going to be fish efficient there. But I still need to find better ways to fertilize. And that's really what we're going to be talking about in a bit today. Perfect. Done with the lime. Lime looks good. You can see we didn't even need the lime, all of it. There's some spots that didn't even need any. Let's go back, take care of uh, the rest of it. But we dump off the rest of our beans that we had. Like I said, 78,000 liters, not bad. Fields prepped, ready to go. We can leave that alone until spring. I think we're good to go here, folks. And move on to making things more efficient. Now, we're going to grab the old Kentworth. Oh, this thing's looking rough. <laughs> uh, we need to start moving some bales around. We need to start moving our money makers around. And we've been, of course, bailing like madmen out here on Western Wilds. And uh, it's worked out fairly flawlessly. Let's be honest, it's been pretty good considering, I mean, we made 10 million bucks in five years. 10 million in five years. I would have never thought that was possible, uh, but that was all done with silage bales. $10 million, five years, silage bales. It's the way to go. We're moving on though, but we we still need some money. You can see we're a little broke. We, we think we owe about $200,000 right now. So um, 
The $10 million ranch is in debt. And it's time we, uh, we, well, we got a pair of debts back. So let's start off with that. You saw we had a whole schwack load of bales. Let's see if we can cut through the ranch. And there we go. Start loading these things up. Let's load all these bales up. Look at them all. Look at all these marshmallows. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a good payday. Uh, it's going to be several million dollars. We've got to be able to make a couple million bucks off this at least to pay off our debts and get back in the black. And so we can advance this ranch a little bit further. But to the train yard we go. Not bad. So first load, hundred and what four hundred and forty-four thousand dollars. Oh, okay. So that not bad. Almost almost half a million dollars one trip is what we're getting right now. That is definitely reasonable. I am more than happy with that. So we'll see how many trips we could do with this. Get our bank accounts blocked. Like I said, we still owe two hundred grand, mind you. But we're at least we're back in the black right now. And I got some stuff I want to buy, like yesterday. But cattle, cattle clutch. Let's worry about the cattle. That's really what I got to worry about. I keep on forgetting. I'm like, oh yeah, we'll buy some toys. No, no, no. We're worried about cattle today. Making as much money as we can to get prepped for that for the next year. There we go. That is the end of all, everything. That's all our bales I'm selling off. So 4.6 million. Actually, you know what? I'll make one more trip. We'll make one more trip, I think. But I do want to keep some silage bales because I need TMR. We still need TMR. And we still have a plan for, well, cattle feed that I'm not going to deal with today, but soon. That's gonna, you're gonna have to stay tuned for that, guys. You're gonna have to stay tuned. If you haven't missed, if you haven't caught how we got all these bales, of course, make sure you guys go check the uh, the videos prior to this. I'll make sure I put a card up the top there. Go check out that because this, this bailing process is ridiculous, but it works so well. It works so well. It's been fantastic. And you know what? That gives me a chance as well. We're loading these bales up. Thank you, new subscribers. Welcome into the channel. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the content. Cheers to you guys. Thanks for joining. Make sure you guys come check us out in the live stream and uh, come say hi. I would love to chat with you guys then. Let's go make another load. Last load. Yeah, this is going to be my last load. I'm going to keep the rest of these bales, and we're going to keep these bad boys for cattle feed. That is the plan. All right, all wrapped up. That's it, guys. We're done. Take a look inside. Take a look inside. Take a look inside. Look at this. Okay, so we got a bunch of hay bales from our, our last harvest, and then I've got another stack of, of silage bales. I still have a whole bunch out in the field, but this is enough for now. And now we're going to deal with the milk. Finally dealing with milk. This is going to be our first load. I'm going to load this trailer up. We're loading up right now. I believe we have like almost 300,000 liters of milk already. Uh, so it's been about a half a year we've been really produce producing milk. I've got five years to make five, $10 million, not five, $10 million, five years in milk. We really got to push these guys. And I don't think, I really don't think we're going to have enough space from our current farms, guys. I don't think there's enough space in here. Just to get enough milk. Like I, I need more cows. I need more cattle. Oh, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? First load ever. 200 and some odd thousand. Uh, see, after we sold off all of our milk, we only ended up with roughly three to four hundred thousand dollars, I believe, is our number. I'll have to go double check the, uh, the stats on that. So after six months or half a year, we made roughly three hundred and four hundred thousand dollars in milk. Not quite enough. I don't think. I think we're really going to need to find a way to push this by growing. We need to grow. We're never going to make it, I don't think, otherwise. It's just not going to be enough. The cows aren't producing fast enough, so I've got to find some alternatives. If we're going to, if we're going to take this seriously, we're going to need to double down on the cattle, guys, and that's going to have to happen, so... Uh, I'm not sure what to do with this yet. I still got to think about this. I got another plan. Just had some toys dropped off. We're picking up a heli to help spray. Now... We already have a helicopter on this farm. We already have a helicopter, but it's not exactly, well, it doesn't really have a great use. No, no, don't get me wrong. It's, it's a beauty of a heli. It's nice to tour around the farm, give you know people the, the sights, the highlights, but we need something else still. So let me head back down and pick up some, uh, we got to pick up a little bit of fertilizer and go load this thing up. Just drop this right on in beside. And uh, let's let it load on in. Get all this fertilizer loaded in this. Now, it doesn't hold a whole heck of a lot. I'm not even sure what the, ma the, ma the amount it holds is, but this pallet is, is going to last us a little bit. Just gonna, it's out of the way. Don't hit the blades in the way by. But like I said, it doesn't hold a whole heck of a lot. As you can see, we didn't use very much there. This is one of my concerns with this, is it just doesn't hold enough. So how much am I actually going to be able to use this? We're going to have to wait and find out. Let's go, let's go check this thing out. Hop on in, guys. Let's go for a, a little ride. Oh, boy. Is this thing safe? I don't even know. Uh, you know what? 
we've done a few a few runs into helis before. We've got this. We can handle this. I'm just like I said. I'm wondering if the efficiency is really going to be worthwhile. We do have the nitrogen. We have the pellet nitrogen. We can use, but this is so much more fun. I'm not going to lie. Can it be made more efficient? Now I'd like to do like the grass fields off the side there. But we're not in need of that right now. The grass is fine. We just need to take care of, well, the last field to plant, which is going to happen in the spring. Let's not worry about the grass fields for now. Let me just go for a quick run around this farm and head out that way. Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, that was great. But I love the look of the field with the lime on it when you get the fertilizer. But the problem is, guys, look at how much fertilizer I used. One single pass. I went through seven-eighths of my tank. Like, like 85% of my tank is gone. 90% of it, even. That's ridiculous. Yeah, 90%. Uh, there's no way I'm getting back across. That's the end of my fertilizer right there. Why? What's, what am I going to do with this? This is ridiculous. I'm, I, if I could... Like, I'm trying to find a case for this to use this helicopter because I love using helis. But what's the point? It, I can only do one pass at a time and then I got to fly back. I need like a sprayer support truck almost parked right by the field in order to use this. Or fly back to my farm every time, land, and fill up. I mean, it only holds, what, 650? Yeah, 650, that's it. That's going to be a, a lot of pain. Now, I had planned to use that for my large grass field, my silage field, my hay field. I just don't think it's going to work for us, guys. I mean, the amount we're going to be running back and forth, I don't think I need to spray as much. But, man, it's going to take me forever to do this. And, and it's not even all that much faster for me to do this. I could probably get this done just as fast almost with uh with any of my my ground-based nitrogen fertilizing units or even the sprayer <sighs> see we've got the 40 the 40 45 we could use that i don't know let's see if we can get a couple of these runs done and see if, if it's much faster but like i said i'm probably going to need to reload this refill this like every pass almost just give it a little space down here because i don't want to run into those telephone poles down the left side I just don't know if I could do this and get it done at any kind of speed. Uh, it's it's not looking all that promising right now. We may need to come up with some other options. We may need to come. We need to think of some other options. All right, let's go. Get a few more of these done. A few more passes through, and uh, we'll see what happens here. Okay, field's done, but like I said, not the best job. Anyways, we'll think about that a little bit more. Now, as you can see, there's our main cattle pasture. We got some lands down here we might be able to develop for more cattle areas. We've got space in behind our barn. We've got space down here, though. I'd like to put more cattle. I'd like to keep it all together. But we also need to think of some more, well, productions possibly for making some food for our cattle to really maximize the amount of time we're doing that. Because right now, I'm spending most of my time making TMR. Kind of a pain, but it has to be done. So, got to figure out if this is going to work best. If we put some more barns down through the woods down here on the left. And then behind me, that might be the option. But we also have some space just kind of up to the north right that way as well that we might have to consider. Anyways, this is for this helicopter. I don't know, guys. I'm not I'm not sold on this. This is it's just too small. It's it is difficult. I'm sure we could get better with it and really and really move these fields and really put that fertilizer down. But why would I use this over well, maybe like the our sprayer? We've got our self-propelled sprayer unit right here. Why wouldn't I not use this? This seems like this is a better option for me. I don't know. Might have to think about this a little bit more. Maybe that's just going to be for decoration. But for now, I need to worry about cattle. I'm just going to focus on cattle for the winter. We're going to be making some TMR like madmen out here. I've got the bales all prepped. I think we're good to go. We just got to make a lot of TMR, guys. That's really what I've got to do now. It's going to be TMR for the next three or four months until March. And then we got to replant that one field we just fertilized. And I think it's rinse and repeat. If I need money for some reason, I mean, we do have the silage field. I'm not going to worry about that. My focus is going to be 10 million, 10 million in milk and maybe some selling some cattle. We'll see how we do, but it's good. We need to expand pretty quickly here to do this in five years. Wish me luck. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you next time. Members, cheers to you once again. We'll see you guys next time.